I'm Corolla and on Instagram I'm at from Corolla. In today's video I wanted to share with you my latest fountain pen purchase, the Esther Brook Matte Black SD Raven. My purchase was made on the official Esther Brook online store and it came with the black water bottle as well as these really lovely um, artist created raven themed blotter papers and as you can see they're very nicely painted on and i love the um, black theme and ravens are really pretty so <laughs> um, i love the blotter papers and i wanted to share this fountain pen purchase with you because it's a new fountain pen that estherbrook um, released as well as a new system of filling so it doesn't come with a cartridge or a cartridge converter that you fill with ink yourself but it comes with a button piston filler so this design is a little bit different from their other estes in that um, it will show you how much ink there is once you've filled it. So there's this little window that you can see through. And um, I got the broad nib. And as you can see, the nib is black, which totally matches the pen. And in the back of the pen is a, um, a knob that you twist off. And it's just sort of this false um, end to the pen. And there's the button. So basically what you do is you put the um, fountain pen into your ink and you push the button a few times and the piston will fill with ink. And so I'm gonna show you how I filled it with ink. Um, I asked on my Instagram at From Corolla, um, I had a poll about what ink I should fill it with and the choices were Diamine Onyx Black or Writer's Blood, also from Diamine. And um, the poll showed me that people really like Writer's Blood and that it goes with the SD Raven, and I tend to agree. So um, this was my first time filling the pen, so I um, had a bit of a hard time. I pushed the button a few times and I wasn't sure if it had filled, but it was really that easy. It's meant to be um, less messy, so you don't get ink on your fingers, except I did because of course I touched the bottom of the pen which was sitting in the ink. And um, it's also meant to be easier, which it was, and I didn't realize how easy it was. I thought it um, required more pushes or something, but it didn't and it was super easy to fill. Um, remember to clean off any excess ink or you'll get the ink on your fingers like I did. And um, writer's blood does look funny um, when you get it all over your hands. So um, once I wiped off all the ink, um, I'll show you a writing sample of the broad nib um, and um, how it writes. So you can see through the uh, window too that it's full. Um, so I kind of had to um, take a look at the ink sloshing around to make sure that it was full. But yeah, it looks really pretty. So that's basically how you fill the pen. It was super easy and um, then you put on the end cap and the um, cap itself. And now I'm going to show you um, a writing sample with the broad nib. And I uh, did a little painting with writer's blood. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos where I show you how I paint with ink, um, you'll know that I use a paintbrush and I just um, painted outlines of a flower and then um, I used a fine liner to draw some leaves and um, white lead pencil actually to draw uh, inside the flowers. So um, writing with the pen I felt it was super smooth and sorry that the video is a little shaky here um, but it felt really smooth to write with. Um, the nib felt great right out of the box, which I don't always say, but um, I definitely felt like it was a broad um, stroke and it wrote really well. The ink, um, if you're not familiar with writer's blood, is actually pretty wet. So if you're writing with a broad nib, as you'll see in my writing sample, um, the ink comes down um, pretty wet and may take a little while to dry, which the blotter papers are actually really helpful with. Um, but uh, with a, 
a narrower nib, like an extra fine or a fine, you should be fine using writer's blood. But just be aware that uh, with a broader nib, it, it's a little bit wet. So now you can see the ink in the um, through the window and it looks really cool. And that's basically the um, writing sample and my Esther book, SD Raven. And so far I'm in love with it. So let me know what you think. And um, if you would get a matte black pen or if you got one and your thoughts about it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Corolla on Instagram. I'm at from Corolla. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.